Oh, yeah! I'm meant to be doing these, aren't I? Yeah. Right. Hello, and welcome back to Mic Drop. Uh, it's been a little while since I did one of these. Since last we spoke, I've accumulated quite a bit more music. I've had both Christmas and my birthday, and for that I asked people to get me some older albums. Um, albums by some of my favourite bands where I got really into them at uni and bought most of their discography and then went, hold on, hold on, I want to leave something to be new and exciting to come back to. So we have Stoosh from 1995, Red Medicine from 1995, Alice in Chains from 1995, and The Circus Leaves Town from 1995, and uh, Saturnalia from 2008. Damn it, Lanigan, you broke the combo. However, I'm not here to talk to you about old music. I'm here to talk to you about brand new music that is happening right now this second. Music by a very talented singer-songwriter called Chuck S.J. Hay. And I saw them around about October, I think, last year, down in Brighton. Um, it was a really cool gig to be at, because it was actually the first time that they publicly performed as a transgender person. So it was nice to be at the coming out gig. Right now, Chuck is in the middle of a frankly ridiculous project called 365 Stories, where they write one song a day for an entire year. They just said at the gig, they just started doing it in the middle of June and then kept on going and now it's a thing. I mean, I know people have done it with like a photo a day or like writing some small thing a day, but a song a day? Some of them are, are short and sweet and, and fairly obviously quickly composed, but some of them are just as strong as the stuff they've been writing in years past. It's just... I don't know how they manage it, but it's absolutely fantastic. The most recent song that's been uh, released so far only on YouTube, uh, is Dream High, which I quite like it has a date of birth. This was the, the song for 8th of March 2017. Initially I thought this was a little bit of a departure, I mean Chuck's done stuff in a lot of different styles, from folk to punk to rock to electronic, um, but this one seemed like it's a singer songwriter thing, but it's a little bit less punk than some of the other ones, a little bit more dreamy and atmospheric. I think it's more the production than anything else. I think played live this will fit right in with uh, a lot of my favourites. I think this would be a really good song to see live. The recording itself, I think between the reverb and the echo effects that have been used on actually in the production and YouTube compression, it's a little bit muddy, especially towards the end. Um, the sound, I think it could be a little bit better, but it seems a little bit harsh to <laughs> judge the song given that this is like being rushed out at a pace that most people would consider impossible. Also, as previously mentioned, this is not a review show, so I don't have to come to a conclusion about whether it's sonically perfect or worth your money. Preparing for this video, it did kind of make me think about my taste in music and what's changed about it. Because I've mentioned in the past that I was very much uh, sort of punk and alternative kid when I was a teenager, not so willing to listen to other genres, at least other genres of pop music. I listened to a lot of world music and jazz as well. My relationship with music was that I would buy an album, like I would listen to the end product and then decide whether I liked it, maybe decide whether I was allowed to like it based on the somewhat arbitrary rules and expectations that I'd set up for myself, as a lot of teenagers do, but I think it was a thing of like, I was always interacting with the finished product, and I think it's not so much that I've mellowed or that my tastes have changed that much, but I have a much greater appreciation for the artist's journey now, which I think comes of being creative, hanging out with more people who are, who are making stuff, including making music. I really love the idea of 365 stories and just going and doing it as a cool thing, and I really enjoyed the just the community at Bar Whatever, the event that we went and saw Chuck at, and it just got me really fired up and excited about this. And I think it's good, because this is stuff that I absolutely would have liked when I was a teenager, but depending on which songs I'd initially picked up, I can see myself have having kind of written off Chuck's music as uh, sort of occasionally the kind of thing I like, but I'm not really going to go out and spend money on it. Whereas this is exactly the sort of thing I want to spend money on. I want to support cool people doing ambitious projects and just making great art. I think that's pretty good for another mic drop. It's nice to be back and doing these again. I never really quite know where I'm going with these, but I feel like I've done a few in a row now that are music that I have a personal connection to or a local connection to that's singer-songwritery stuff. 
So let's see what I can do next to change things up. And until I do see you again, thanks very much for watching and have a great week.